Hey, Orange One here. So, um, we've got a little bit of a different strategy that I'm going to try here. Uh, Vlandia, we've been raiding constantly, and I'm winning constantly, and I'm getting a little bit more money, but our income's gone down, and there's no real end in sight, and it doesn't seem like we're wearing them down at all because we just don't have the forces really to do that. Um, but I found that this dude, Lucon, He's at war with the Vlandians, so um, unfortunately he doesn't like me, um, so I can't, um, if I say I would like to enter your service, he won't let me, but if I say um, I would like to discuss something, proposal that may benefit the both of us, and then if I just give him, I think I've, I did this like a little bit before the episode just to kind of see, um, what would work and I think I did around that and that that was more than enough to get him to like me enough yeah so he'll he'll let me work for him now so just takes a little bribe and then I can be like hey yo can I work for you um yeah I'm ready the senate <laughs> yes for the senate <laughs> oh man it would be so weird if I actually tried to do that for this Let's Play. Really, the only reason I'm doing this is so that we've got an ally in the war. Um, but if you look right now, they're completely scattered. Um, but I can I can go over my troop limit and I can actually give him some troops, I think. Um, can't I, like, give you troops or something? No, it looks like I can't actually do that. Oh, well, it looks like I'm going to have to get rid of some people. I can at least do this. I can be like, hey, people, come join me, you know? So I can basically get an actual force together, which would be nice. So yeah, if I can get all of our forces, um, not enough influence. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get some influence. Well, I'll have to win some battles or something, and then I'll get people to join up with me. Um, I can definitely get my people to come towards me. I'm a little bit nervous that they're going to get intercepted along the way, so I'll make my way towards them. And yeah, hopefully they actually can get some units, because it looks to me like they just don't have any uh, places to recruit. So they're going to have a hard time getting units, um, is the thing, you know? So I think, if I remember correctly, you guys were like way down like over there somewhere so I should probably make my way to Legata and then I'll uh, I'll meet up with some other people um that are allies pretty soon and look I will get influence like soon enough it's just kind of like yeah it's gonna be a little bit rough for for a while um but I'm glad that we'll be able to take like a castle from these guys and I'm basically planning on immediately uh abandoning Lucon and trying to take the castle ourself. Oh yeah, look, there's Escarans. I think they're waiting for Lucan's forces right there. I'm pretty sure that's what's going on there. I could be wrong though. They're holding, so I'm able to get by them. Cool, good. Because I don't want my, uh, my companions running into that. Yeah, I'm hoping to basically just um, get our forces together take a castle and i anticipate our um oh i'm still over my troop limit oh i forgot to take care of that huh i need to get rid of one person do i have any looters or anything no no looters all right well let's get rid of that hillman then um yeah, we'll just keep on making our way towards where I think my companions are. And at least we'll have like a force of, what is that, like 300? We'll have at least 300 people strong. And that's, that is enough to take a castle, but um, I'm more excited about the amount of people that we'll be able to fight at once, you know? Um, yeah, I don't know where my dudes are, but I'm pretty sure that we're getting close. We'll, we'll do some more fighting soon enough that it's we're going to have to get to them first. Yeah. Um, should I attack that? 
Yeah, let's attack this. There's four of them, right? Did I read that correctly? There's four of them. Oh no. Never mind. No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to wait a whole day. Just for like two influence or something. Are you kidding me? You know? It's a total waste of time. Um, just kind of checking. There's something about... Uh, people getting captured, so I just kind of wanted to make sure it wasn't my people. I mean, not that, I mean, I can do, really do much about it if they did get captured, but, you know. We do have a lot of prisoners that want to join up with me. I think I might want to start skirmishing a little bit. See who we can find. Um, yeah, there's a lot of people that are friends that are not doing well. If I look at you, um... You're like hours away from me. Cool. All right. Yeah, I'm going to start making my way towards um, enemy territory then. Wow, there's a ton of force bandits around here. Is that guy got that quest for hunting them? I don't know. Oh, you've been cap got some people. Yeah, I'm not really interested in that. I'm more interested in um, attacking these dudes. Uh, I mean, th Thrasite Castle is tempting, but I think really where they're the most overstretched is Resos Castle. So I think that that would be a good one for us to attack. The one problem is that then we're going to be in the center of the map, you know? Um, Olin, where are you? You guys should be catching up to me. If I can, let's, let's just get a little bit more experience. We literally outnumber them 10 to 1, so they might just surrender to us, but we'll see. Um, you actually... I could probably give troops to you, right? Yeah, because you should be able to take uh, more troops. So I should be able to be like, hey, yo, take these off uh, off my hands. Yeah, you can have up to 96. Yeah, so I think that that is more than enough for you. And then that should allow me to um, recruit some more of my prisoners. See, this is what I've been missing, um, is the ability to do stuff like that to build your army. Because I have so many like people that I could be recruiting. And we oftentimes don't pick up because we just don't really have the capacity for it. But then again, it's like they're like untrained and they're slow. So it's like, is it really worth it? I don't really know. But look, we ha we gain like significant numbers of troops there. And then look, there's Komar. Right there. Yeah, we're going to be able to catch them, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, totally. Cool. And then we'll be able to um, probably siege one of these castles down. Uh, you want to join me? Um, I mean, I could actually have them maybe join me. I mean, I've got, what, eight more and you've got a little bit more? Nah. You're going to pay for your crimes. AKA, give me experience. Thanks. Yeah, I think that um, given your our larger yeah. troop numbers... Oh, now we're purple. Man, this is going to be so confusing. I'm My brain with the colors is going to, like, just... Nothing's going to mean anything anymore. Oh, yeah, check it out. We've got more horses. And we actually have, like... Oh, wow, most of our troops are uh, melee, looks like. Oh, I missed. There we go. Oh, 224 damage. Did you see that? That was crazy. I must have had the, quite the added velocity there. Come on, there we go. Yeah, I mean, if I've found is if you have like a ton of archers, you can actually fairly safely take out a lot of units and, and build up like quite a bit of experience. But you gotta protect those archers. So I've been playing around a little bit with um, some of the controls with that. Hopefully I'll be able to show you. I'm like looking at this, I'm like, wow, we're already a third into the episode. I feel like I haven't done anything, you know? And we we're just about to actually get Komar to join up with us and then I actually might see and I mean we have we've built up some influence I might see if I can convince someone else to join me no no one else is able to join me and they would they're just not able to 
Yeah, I would really like to be able to go to there. Meclovia, I think I remember, had kind of low troop counts as well. Okay, so we've got 300-something people. They had like a thousand something that was like up there. So I feel like if I try and see just down that a thousand is gonna come down and try and kick my butt and probably do a pretty good job at, at it. Um, that's just because we're here. Let's just kind of see what we got going on around here. Oh, we actually got another thing right there. So we got 400 people strong. That is quite the force. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, yeah, I mean, we could, in theory, take this castle, but we'd need to siege it down more than we're going to be able to, unfortunately. Um, because of that, I think I'm going to just harass and see if I can maybe um, help out the Imperials a little bit. I mean, I think... The one thing that's really good now is that we have such a big number of troops. We should be able to um, really effectively kill people. <clears throat> like, if you think about it, the more troops you have, the more that you can kill at a time, right? Okay, looks good to me. How many days of food do I have? 70. Okay, so actually I've got plenty of food. I thought I was going to have, like, nothing. Um, I kind of want to go to Epicrotea area because that I think was where the band of um, of that big force was I also need to be keeping an eye on if kingdoms are going to war they just don't want to go to war with each other though it's been really weird there's been like totally like peace and good times like throughout most of the um the factions like Landia and the Sari they just like totally are not fighting really which is a shame because I thought that the Sari would have pushed on um, and taken over the map, but I, it's like they kind of quit for some reason. That dude's only got 12 people. Really? Wow. Okay. They have like no ability to recruit people, so it's actually kind of impressive that they even have 12 people. Because like I'm kind of wondering, like, because me as a player, not being tied to um, land as a faction, it's it's pretty hard to um, maintain an army. You know, I didn't realize that early on in the game because I think it it's kind of okay to like get like peasant units and whatnot as like a neutral character. But if you're a part of a faction that's like been kicked down, like it's super hard to get any any units. Like, where do you even get those soldiers, right? I'd love to see more like. Um, kind of like interpersonal like politics like with like claimants and stuff I'm sure they're gonna add that like you know but like I would love to see like more nations rising up and falling and stuff that'd be super cool to see more of that yeah look at how many people we have it's just it's a pretty good pretty good sized force I'm pretty happy with that I am a little bit worried about the thousand stack coming over and just kicking us in. But if I can maneuver and defeat a couple armies with this 400 stack, then I think we could maybe even... Um, yeah, I don't know. This is... The one thing is, is if I try and siege this, is that we're going to get ourselves kind of trapped. And we don't have the numbers to really fight them. Um, can I take him out? Yes, I think I can. I, I don't think I can catch them, though. How fast am I? Um, we're going through the woods, though. 3.5. Yeah, we, we're not fast enough to catch him. Um, yeah, that's the one problem, is now that we've got a bigger army, we're going to be slower like this. I think that we should be able to um, maybe trap him. Oh yeah, we I think we, we could totally trap you up against these hills if I just kind of go towards the bridge there. Yeah. Um, I think that's also like a little bridge. But if I think I, I think if I stay like this side I can kinda maneuver you up and over here. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's actually perfect. Are you guys gonna fight that guy? No? Okay. Um are the no, the Kuzate are not at war with them. That's a shame. 
There's actually quite a few of them right here. I could... Um, I think that you are trapped. Yeah, it looks like you're trapped. And are you starving? Are your troop numbers going down? Oh no, he's going to be able to get away from me, isn't he? There's like a weird little corridor thing. Are you kidding me? There's like a little corridor here. I could have sworn that we had him trapped like in the hills. No. Um, I'm feeding my allies. Great. So I need to stop off at some village or something. Oh wow, I got a lot of people that want to join up with me. How many troops do I have spots for? I can, I can give it to people, so I'm going to just take them all. I think that our companions had a number of empty slots, right? Yeah, I know. Um, yes, you do. You got some slots. Man, I kind of feel like we stagnated this playthrough now. Um, like, pretty bad. Uh, I'll take a few more back. I think that that's probably good, though, right? Yeah. Because I feel like now, like, I just can't really take any cities. I just haven't really had the ability to do so in a long time. <laughs> um, and we could maybe try and, and apply pressure to this place. We can get out of here if it goes bad. But they do also have quite a few people here. And actually, we only have 27 days of food. Yeah, not the best. Um, but at least we're part of a faction. At least we're getting a little influence. Uh, buy products. I'd take all of it. Thank you. I kind of want to buy some cows too, but then I'm going to have to like kill them, which I don't think you can do quickly in the game currently, so not going to bother with that. Um, how about now? 28 days worth of food. <laughs> yeah, not very much. I mean, it is technically enough to siege a place down. I just don't think we're going to be able to siege it down, you know? That's the thing, is that we're going to get attacked while we're trying to do this. My o only hope is that they get attacked by someone else while we're trying to do this. I would be interested to see how many people they can get back together, because it looked like they kind of got fragmented, because they had that like troop of like 100 that, would run that ran off in one direction. Okay, there's one of them. If I can trap you, then I'm going to. I don't think I'm going to be able to trap him. I might be able to get him between, like, the castle and the rocks or something here. I think we'll just wait a little bit more. Um, if I go to the kingdom, I'm just curious. Yeah, there's no one else with any, any troops. I kind of feel like I should just be trying to give troops to our companions here. But I feel like also, on the flip side, they would just lose it all, you know? Um, yeah, this guy right here, they're too fast for me to catch. Unless I break apart my army and then just crush him. That is the other option for us. These are the people... Yeah, just getting random experience. Okay, cool. Fine by me. I'm intrigued that we actually haven't been crushed yet by the Vlandians. They must be gathering their forces to like really just crush me super hardcore. Because I would imagine that, yeah. They've got a lot of people just around the corner waiting for me. I just got nervous there for a second. <laughs> I mean, I kind of feel like this is maybe... No, we, we really shouldn't even be trying to do this, to be honest. Yeah. This is totally foolish. Okay, there's there's 200 of them now. I am going to leave because I think that they might try and be willing to fight me. Slash, I would be able to crush them quickly enough. I kind of want to try. Um, there's now 300 of them. I think that, uh, and they're trying to engage me now. I am definitely nervous. 
We definitely have a numbers advantage, though. But not, not a huge numbers advantage, but there is a number advantage. If we lose this, man, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> um, maybe I could convince some of them to join me. Ah, bummer. Okay, well, looks like we're going to have to fight the Vlandians. Uh, we do have a significant number advantage, but I don't know the quality of my people's troops and the quality of their troops. So, it's really a flip of the coin, if I'm completely honest. Take over command! Actually, you know what? Um, sorry. Infantry! Infantry... Right here. Turn. Uh, oops, sorry. Uh, Bowman. Bowman, you Bowman. guys are gonna be up here. We're just gonna have you guys taking shots at them, basically. Cavalry, stay close. Mounted archer after me. Mounted horseman. Follow okay, me. so I think that we've got like our heavy and light cavalry with me. We got archers back here. We'll just kind of let them uh, let them come to us a little bit, and we'll use our cavalry to kind of turn them as they come to us. Is what I'm thinking, because they were trying to approach me. I think that they'll attack. Yeah, it looks like they will. Okay, well they have a ton of cavalry right there. Can we just pull them over here? Hello. Yeah, actually, sergeants, you can take command just for a little bit. Just because I, I want to be able to kill them. And I'm not going to be able to do that if I'm trying to command the army. There we go. That's good. That's pretty good. Oh, man. I thought he was going to drop the shield at the last second. But he did not. Yeah, this is, this is going well. I'm pretty happy with the... The, how the ratio is of us falling to them falling. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Yeah. Um, okay, let's see. Okay, um, oh, I think I didn't tell everyone to follow their sergeants. I'm gonna just actually hold, um, just for a little bit. And then I'm gonna see if I can get the cavalry up and around here. Yeah, cavalry. Turn them. Oh, their cavalry is coming towards us. Uh, I don't know if I... what I'm doing now. This is kind of dumb. At least they're kind of turning their forces to face me, which I think our archers are taking advantage of. I'm not sure about that, but I think they are. Yeah, cavalry. Just keep on turning them. And then, Everyone, sergeants, in charge. sergeants, you can command them as you see fit. Okay, uh, I think, yeah, we've kind of got a nice little uh, spread now. I think that they're going to start crushing them pretty soon, but I don't know. I'm kind of also having a hard time navigating it all. There's just so many things going on. There we go, that one's down. Oh. Come on. And they have a ton of cavalry. Like, they really do, this uh, army here. So that's really what's concerning, really, I think, is these guys. Um, because they can really mess up your day. As you can see, it looks like their cavalry took out my cavalry. Yeah, it looks like I'm, I'm out of cavalry. I mean, if they charged, I think that they would win. Yeah, I think that they should honestly just charge, and I don't know why I've got like 300 infantry just like hanging back there. Like, really dumb. Should charge that in a long time ago. And they're gonna lose some people because there are quite a few archers there. But I think we'll win. 
especially if I can turn around some of them. Yeah, turn and face me. Don't shoot them. Yeah, turn and face me. Do not shoot them. Oh, yeah, uh, kind of. That kind of worked. There is a lot of people dying right now. This is kind of insane. Oh, that kind of worked. Okay, yeah, we are we are starting to turn them. They're starting to route. Good, good. That was a intense battle. Oh, that was that was a pretty bad hit there too. Okay, uh, you guys, there's some um, cow on my tail. Like a lot of them actually. Yeah, they should go down pretty quick against this many infantry. Man, that was intense. That was a huge battle. Given that we're doing like a guerrilla warfare style, uh, <laughs> that was very, 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 very good for us. I think if we, I don't know, take prisoners, then I might be able to just give a ton of troops to our friendlies. But I think we'll try and do that. Yeah, I don't think, uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to catch them all, but maybe I'll be able to get this a few more. Though, like I said, I should probably be trying to take prisoners. It's, uh... Yeah, oh, there's actually a few more here. Okay. I'll just try and catch them really quick. Yeah, I need to figure out what we're going to do after this battle. I think that we took so many losses that we kind of have to fall back a little bit. I'm not really sure. <laughs> Nine damage. <laughs> I like slapped him with my sword basically there. Now it's so weird because I wanted to take out the Empire and I'm literally playing as an Empire faction right now. <laughs> you know? Oh, I guess that uh... <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, you're one of mine. What am I doing? Duh. Okay, I think we'll... Wait, we can't... I can't actually end the battle. Is that cavalry still technically fighting us? Or is he running away? Because... Okay, it looks like he's still technically fighting us. There's just something weird going on with their pathing or something. Hello. Yeah, you guys are totally bugged. That was weird. Okay, come on. Oh, come on. That was 50 damage. There we go. Just a little bit of bugginess in the mountain there. Um, I have a half a mind to just start executing them. <laughs> no, we're not going to do it. We've tried so hard to not be that, that guy. You know, it's just kind of weird to me. Like how many people I, I watched a little bit of one of the big YouTubers. I'm not going to say names because I don't want to like talk trash about anyone, but they were like, um, basically had, um, a campaign where they just were going around executing everyone and it just felt a little bit like weird because it felt like genocide, you know? And he was like trying to wipe out all the nobles of this one faction, which I get is like kind of how the world worked back in this time period, but it's just kind of like a little bit weird to like see someone like laughing as they're like executing enemy lords, you know. I don't know, it was just it was just me personally, and it was also kind of like one of those things where it's like I know I've done much worse on here on my channel, <laughs> so I can't judge too much, right? Okay, so let's see. That is a lot of experienced troops, and now I have a lot of I have too many prisoners. Okay, so let's get rid of some then. I need to get rid of, what, five of them? I can do that. Okay. Sounds good to me. And how many people are we left with? 240. That is better than what I thought we were going to have. Um, if I try and talk to you... Oh, you're going to try and chase after them? Um... 
Can I? No, I can't give you guys troops, which is super annoying. I don't know how they're supposed to get troops in this situation, right? I think it's like an oversight, really. Um, let's go back to Diathma, because really we, we need to. Hello guys, you actually have some troops now. That's nice. Um, I think all, one of the main reasons I'm going here is that people will be able to like sell prisoners and... Um, yeah, look at all those prisoners they just sold and that will make us faster. In addition, they'll buy supplies, they'll take care of all that stuff that they need to do, so... Yeah, we are um, doing a lot better. I finally feel like we've kind of redeemed ourselves in the game. Um, we'll do that. And actually, I think we've got a ton of um, goods that we gotta get rid of. I do that, and then like that. And, wow, they have a lot of money. I don't think they're gonna be able to do all of this. But we'll give them quite a few things, yeah. That's fine. They were reaching the limit, so I just kinda did it individually there. Uh, what about recruiting troops? Nope, no troops here. Uh, tavern? I bet that was probably my companions that recruited all the troops. Now this is the point where it's like... I'm not sure how much I push it and try and push back in because we have like a hundred... Not a hundred, we got 60-ish people hurt. I think we should definitely take it easy for a little bit. And I don't know how we're going to um, beat the Vlandians, but I think it's going to involve turning some of their lords um, to these guys' faction. You know, having like some of them betray their faction I think is really our best bet. Um, no troops. Okay, well, at least we're a bit more healed up. I'm just gonna heal up just a little bit more though. Yeah, that I think is, is probably worth it. And it also makes you faster to have less wounded people. So, seeing how we're going to be a pretty slow-moving army anyways, probably a good idea. Also, I think we are moving a little bit slow because our companions, they may have gotten to us um, with some prisoners, so I think that is probably also part of our issue. Um, we'll stop waiting there, though. And I don't know, it looks to me like we're at the half an hour point, so I might end this here. I might just um, see if we can find anyone wandering around. Um... Yeah, I think though that we should probably end this here. Man, we've gone from Asari to like these guys pretty quick. I'm just really just wanted to check. Um, yeah, they're still not at war with anyone, and the same with Landia, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, look, they're at war with Serenid, which is part of the Northern Empire. So that's interesting. Yeah. Okay. I guess if um. I leave the this faction, then they'll still be trying to kill me, is essentially how I'm reading that, right? Okay, I think though that um, I'm gonna end this here, yeah. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.